Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the introduction to Matplotlib and also basic terminology of a chat. So in today's session, we'll see how to plot a line chat. Okay, a simple chat, simple plot. So a simple plot or line chat, line chat. So first of all, we need to import the matplotlib and this we, we need to use one module in the matplotlib that is a pipe plot. Okay. So first import matplotlib, matplotlib. So this is a library we need to import and in this, in the previous session, we have seen two modules that is a pylab and pipe plot. So we are going to use a pipe plot. Okay, so you have to use that module. So you can directly import that module by using this matplotlib dot pipe plot. Okay, or and you can give some alias name. So that is an optional, right? So we have seen the same in pandas and numpy also. So if you are giving any alias name, so whatever the functions available in this module, that modules must be called with the help of that particular alias name, right? So I am giving some plt. So whatever the functions we are going to use to plot. So everything for every function should be called with the help of this plt. And the same thing can be written as from matplotlib matplotlib import import pipe plot pipe plot as plt. So the same statement. So both the statements will be working with the same. So both the statements work with the same, right? So here directly we are importing the pipe plot uh, module, which is available in uh, this matplotlib library. And here from the library, we are importing the particular module. Okay, from the library, we are importing the module with some name. And the first function is plot function. So this plot function is used to plot the chart. Okay, plot the chart on the figure. So this, in this plot, we are going to give the parameters as x direction, y direction, okay, and also the marker. Okay, and we see we will see this markers concept in the further sessions, right? For, for uh, in today's session, we'll see only about this x and y because. This is a simple plot. So let, let us explain about this simple plot and then we'll extend the remaining features, right? So plot function will take the parameters x and y, x axis and y axis. You need to give the value of x and you can also give the expression for y. So for example, if you if x is equal to some uh, 10, 20, 30 and uh, y is equal to some same 10, 20, 30 and if you are using the same function, so plt, so I am using some alias name, plt dot plot of x comma y, then automatically a graph will be created with some values 10, 20, 30 and here also it will be 10, 20, 30. So the points will be like this, okay, the line will be like this. So 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, that means x axis 10, y axis 10. So the point will be here x axis 20 y axis 20 so 20 20 z uh, sorry sorry uh, x axis 30 and y axis 30 so 30 30 so this is the graph this is the chart we can plot with the help of this one if you use the same values and here the question is how we can assign the value of x and how can we can assign the value of y so just by using uh, numpy you can read the values of x and you can apply the expression so that we'll get the result. Okay, so I, I will show you an example, right? So I will uh, implement the same thing so that uh, in different ways I will implement and I will show you how can we read the x values and y values. Okay, we can simply give the y value. See, for example, so in NumPy, we have seen some range function, right? We have seen some range function. So x is equal to np dot a range range function some 1 to uh, 0 to 10 with a 2 
modules right so two differences with the two differences so x will be holding the values from 0 4 uh, 0 2 4 6 and 8 right 0 2 4 6 and 8 and y is equal to if you give some x double star 2 that means nothing but x is square so y holds the value with uh, 0 4 16 36 and a 64 so 0 0 will point one one point and x axis 2 y axis 4 x axis 4 y axis 16 x axis 6 y axis 16 x axis 8 and y axis 64 so like this a line will be plotted a line will be plotted so number of ways we can give the values of x and similarly to the y so we can also use the expressions to get the values of x and y so but this plot function should be used to plot the graph and this plot function will take the parameters x and y and if you give only one thing see if you give only one thing so that means a plot of let, let us take some 10 20 30 so only one value has been given so by default by default x will be holding the values from 0 by default x axis values will be from 0 so this will be considered as a y axis this will be considered as a y axis so from 0 it will be pointing towards a 10 okay so i will execute the same thing in the system and i will show you how it will be plotted and after plot after plotting function so if you want to give any labels here so this is the x axis label this is the y axis label so there are functions called x label okay which gives the label on x axis and y label which gives the name of label of on y axis so what x axis represents and what y axis represents and there is a one more function called title so title function will display the title here itself so here it will display the title here we need to give the title of the plot if you if, if suppose if you want to give some line plot so the same thing will be displayed here itself instead of title we will get line plot so that will be displayed so i hope all these basic uh, terms i have explained in the previous session uh, i will uh, post this uh, pre i mean this introduction to matplotlib link in the description section so if you want to refer you can refer and then it will be easy to understand for you right so these are the different functions basic functions to plot the chart okay and last in order to show the graph in order to show that means visual it visualization so we are having some show method so if you apply the show method automatically the dra the graph will be displayed on the screen otherwise it will be represented in the form of an object okay in, in the form of object so if you use this show method automatically the graph will be displayed on the screen so mapping with x and y axis mapping with x and y axis right so first we need to import the matplotlib in, in the matplotlib we are going to use the pi plot and by using the pi plot we are using the plot function x label y label title and show so these are the basic things to plot a graph a simple plot so uh, i will i will show you the implementation in the system so taking some x, x axis and y axis points with, for x and y and plotting the line with x and y axis right so in the next session i will go with the a few more parameters that is a marker legend and all these things so in today's session let me explain about this one practically in the system so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen uh, the different uh, functions to plot a simple plot so that we will see the implementation so first of all we need to import the matplotlib so in this matplotlib we need to import the module pyplot so i will go with the matplotlib lib dot pyplot or simply we can use from matplotlib import pyplot 
and I will give some alias name, some plt, so that I have to call all the functions with the help of this alias name. So first of all, we need to give the x points and y points in order to plot this line plot, right? So if you want to draw a line, you need to give, give the points x coordinates and y coordinates. Now I'll take the x coordinates. So x is equal to, so I will take, I will consider the x values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and take the y values it's a simple uh, list I am taking some list okay so 0 10 20 30 40 and 50 so just a multiplication with the 10 so in order to plot this one we are having the function called plot so plt dot plot so x comma y so that x coordinate and y coordinate will be plotted and I will give the title by using that name called a title function so title it's a simple line plot right and on the x axis and y axis we can give the labels right so you just i will show you so first we we'll, we have to go with the show method in order to display the plot on the screen so i will execute this one so you will get the simple line plot okay you can observe here the x axis 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the y axis is a 0 10 20 30 40 50 right and See, you, if you observe here, uh, 0 is pointing 0 and 1 is pointing towards a 10 and 2 with a 20, 3 with a 30, 4 with a 40 and 5 with a 50. So, this is a simple line plot, okay, simple line plot and this is a title where we have given the title function and you know, if you want to give the x label and y label, there are the functions called x label, so plt dot x label. So you can here uh, give the x axis. So I will give some x axis, right? So that uh, we'll get the x axis as a label on x axis, and I will go with the plt dot y label. Uh, I will go with a y axis. And if you execute, you will get the titles x axis and y axis. Okay, and uh, these are the functions to plot a simple plot line plot. So we need to give the x and y. So instead of taking all these things, you can also take the x values. And here, instead of taking the values, you can give the expression, right? So give the expression. So list comprehension. Use the list comprehension. So x uh, double star two. That means x square for uh, x in sorry I will give you i okay I will give some i right so i square for i in x so if you observe this one if you observe this one we will get on the x axis the values will be there on the y axis it will be squares x squares right see x square so 0 with 0 1 with 1 2 with a 4 and 3 with uh, C, some 9 like this will get the values, y values. Okay, so this is how we can use this one. And if you are, if you are only giving the x axis, see for example, I will give some from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. So I just want to give the uh, x axis, right? So simply I will give some uh, values, okay, without giving x and y, I will directly use the plt dot pipe uh, plot. I will give directly the values like 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500, right. And directly I will go with the show method. So if you use the show method, so if you execute, you can observe here. So this will be considered as a y axis and if here initially by default the x axis x axis will be starting from 0, 0.0 so if you give only one parameter in the plot function it will consider as a y axis and by default the x axis will be taking with a 0 0, 0.0 0, 0 0.5 1 1.52 and so on right and if you give x comma y we'll get the complete plot right so here not only the uh, comprehension you can also make use of anything right and here instead of using x value you can also import the numpy and based upon the numpy you can 
give the x values import numpy as np so i'm taking x value as so np dot uh, a range function from 1 to 10 okay with a two intervals with a two intervals so if i execute this one so you can observe here so one so here we'll get uh, sorry with zero we'll get from two onwards right see two okay then a four uh, then a six 36 okay and eight it's a 64 so this is squares right so x is equal to np dot a range 0 10 2 so just if you print uh, if you print here uh, x comma y you can observe the x values are 0 2 4 6 8 and y values are 0 4 16 36 and 64 so x and y is given to the plot plot function so this plot function is used to plot the line from x axis and y axis and x label and y label is used to give a names for x axis and y axis and title is to give title for the simple i mean this plot right so we'll stop here and in the next session we'll see about a few more options like uh, uh, we can mark we can use the markers okay and also legend so these terms we have already covered in the first session right so markers means just pointing the correct point uh, where the x axis and y axis reaches and the legend means the functionality of the line and also we'll see the multiple plots in a single graph multiple plots okay and different types of markers will be there and all these things we'll cover in the further sessions so Hope you enjoyed the session and if you are having any uh, doubts regarding this uh, simple plot, uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.